Yo, what's up guys, it's Dermy Senpai here and welcome back to another video. This is going to be another one of my unscripted thoughts. So, you know, I don't have a script in front of me, so I'm just kind of speaking free. I'm free, I'm free balling here. So, we just played Splatoon 3, Test Fire, Global Splatfest, and that shit was heat. I played so much that my right hand literally had arthritis. Like it was, oh my goodness, I played so much. Put the entire 12 hours uh, for the NA times. But, anyways, we're going to talk about this new feature in Splatoon 3 that has me a bit worried. Not a bit, I'm very worried about it. So, one thing that you will notice uh, when you when you play the Splatfest, if somebody disconnected in your lobby, it kills, it killed the entire room. It will like shut down the entire lobby and then a message will pop up and then it will be like, oh, uh, players that didn't disconnect will not be punished or like, you know, shit like that basically. Essentially, that one person who disconnected will obviously have some, some sort of punishment, right? And so, I think that's actually really good. I think there is no point of playing out a game and there's a DC on the other team. Now, I do kind of reprimand that because, like, sometimes 3v4 wins do happen because I'm sure we've done that a couple of times. I've done that, I've done that many times before. But anyways, right? So, when that happens, right? Because it's all, here's a lobby and then you all just go back and then you don't get punished. But there is one thing of concern that I'm worried about, and this me, and this, this has me concerned because of a clip I saw, right? So if you remember the spawn camping video I made, these people disconnected because they were mad they were getting spawn camp. They were obviously mad. They were salty. They were like really pissed off. So they disconnected and they killed the entire lobby. It kills the entire lobby, obviously. And so that had me thinking. Oh shit, niggas can abuse that, right? Because in ranked, you see this happen quite a bit. There are there are throwers in ranked, and they just literally sit there and do nothing, and they just throw the game so you can lose because either they're pissed off about something or like they're not happy how their teammates are doing, and it's stupid, it's dumb as hell. Don't ever do that. But what they can do is kill the lobby and make everyone stop playing. I don't know if that function will be like a thing in ranked or in what 2 3 does come out. We'll just have to wait and see. But let's but let's assume it is a thing, right? That's concerning. Because I don't know if the people who aren't affected by the DC we punish or not. So let's say you're on a team with the person that purposely or or not even purposely, just disconnected in general, right? Will you get put you, you won't get punished for that because the game says that so like I'm sure your rank will stay the same if you're on a losing team But what about the winning team? Do they like get nothing out of that? Right like do they get nothing out of that? Do they get the win or not? That's my concern and The reason for that concern is that there are assholes There are a bunch of them that will literally DC from a match because they're pissed off. They will disconnect on purpose and then it will literally kill the entire game for everybody else in that lobby. And so let's say that nobody gets anything out of that. So let's say you are literally about to win the fucking game. But then a nigga is pissed off. They want to rage quit. They decide to DC. And you literally get nothing. Even though you were about to win. That shit sounds ass. And I, that's the main thing I'm worried about with this new mechanic. I think overall it's a really good mechanic that they implemented. But that's I just worry that it will get abused. And that's my point of concern. And so this is my message for all of you. Don't ever rage quit in the middle of a fucking match. Because it's not fair to your team. It's not fair to, the, to your opponents. Don't do that. That shit's not fun. And nobody will like you for doing that. Right? Granted, they probably never know. But still, just don't ever do that. And another thing I want to talk about. And I don't know if you saw. But he's been on Twitter. There was, the, there was this um post. So this person kept disconnected right and they got punished for 70 minutes yeah they got punished for 70 minutes before they can actually play again and i'm also really concerned about that new punishment thing i'm gonna see if i can pull up the uh shit i'm gonna see how i can pull it up and if i can't find it then i just won't pull it up but believe me there was someone who got punished for 70 minutes right and so with that I'm worried because it's sometimes it's not your fault when you disconnect. And actually, and genuinely, I think Nintendo 
does a good job of making the system recognize that because I actually disconnected like seven, eight times during the uh, Splatfest and I never got that punishment. I don't know, maybe it's because I was lucky or maybe I didn't disconnect enough, but I didn't get that punishment. And then when I went back to join the lobby, the message didn't pop up saying that, oh, you're in this busted, make sure that shit's fixed, right? It happened to me one time when I genuinely disconnected because my internet was on the fritz. And then I got that message saying, hey, yo, make sure your shit's good. But any other time I disconnected, it didn't give me that message, maybe because it was just literally Nintendo's online just acting up. So I think Nintendo does a good job of making the system recognize that it's not your fault when you disconnect. I think they do. I think they do. I probably could be wrong, right? But that 70 minute punishment, man. See, my internet is not perfect. It, it, it's most definitely not. I disconnect, I wanna say quite frequently, especially as of recently, I don't know what's been going on with my net. So with this new punishment, I need to go buy a fucking LAN cable because I'm not finna be punished for 70 minutes. Fuck that. I'm finna go buy a LAN cable and plug that shit in. But what they should do with that damn 70 minutes is take it and give it to the niggas that throw games. I'm so sorry, man. Like, if you are genuinely throwing games, you need that 70 minute punishment. If you're doing fuck all for the entire game, you need that 70 minute punishment. You deserve that. That's for you. Not for somebody who has shit net and just actually disconnects. I don't think they deserve that 70 minute punishment. I don't think that's, I don't think that's warranted. Let's stick to five minutes. But if you're just like genuinely throwing a game, right? Then you need that 70 minute punishment. You need it. And that's pretty much it. That's all my thoughts about this little new feature that we got going in Splatoon 3. Now, I'm not sure how all of it is gonna hold true once the game is out, we'll just have to wait and see. But other than that, yeah, those are my thoughts. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Until then, see you all next time.